Hi everybody. I am at our new place, which is still a little echoey. Echo! Echoey! Echoey! But less so, because as you can see behind me, it's full of stuff everywhere. <laughs> so we got all of our stuff in yesterday from the USA, finally. It was a full circle moment with our very first vlog. Today, I am here bright and early because I'm also waiting for deliveries. And it's also just the best time to start organizing, cleaning, everything. Justin will definitely do a lot of the organizing. He's much better at that. My strength is not that, so it defaults to be cleaning. <laughs> hmm. 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 The feeling that I'm getting is, um, does anyone play Animal Crossing? If you play Animal Crossing, I hadn't really gone into a lot of the rooms of my house in the game, and I just like, cluttered them with all kinds of items because my item storage was full. And this feels exactly like going to the rooms of my house and getting embarrassed at myself for letting it get that way in the game. Obviously, this is none of this is my fault, but it's that exact feeling where I'm like, oh god, there's just stuff everywhere. Like, where do I even begin? I don't have a magical storage system where I can just put it in my pocket and then like poof it away to this electronic storage until I know what I want to do with it. All right, I decided to focus on the kitchen first because I kind of already started with Justin last night in the previous vlog with the dishwasher. So I figure let's start there. I did clean hand wash my very first item here, which is <laughs> I think my favorite mug is my first name in this really tacky Florida mug. It's really rare for me to get my name on one of these pre-made trinket souvenir things. And I made coffee at our temp place because there's a coffee maker there. And I just brought it over here because I knew that I was going to be going to work. Ah, time to see if this dishwasher washed dishes last night after we left. Okay, yeah. The dryer symbol wasn't lit up on the option I chose, so I wasn't really sure if that was gonna happen. But it looks like it happened. You may be yelling at your screen right now saying, well, Jeff, that was last night. What if they just dried on their own? It's been like 12 hours. You could be right. You could be so right. I don't know. We'll find out today because I have to run this a million more times in the next week or so, or however long it takes to clean all these dishes. All right, so I went to go put these away, and then I remembered that first I have to clean the cabinets. They should be clean, you know, but I don't know. I don't trust them to actually not be dirty unless I clean them myself. You know, I'm going to make use of some of these things, which are cleaning liquids that uh, made their way to us from the States. Here we go. I finally found one. I got really scared for a second. Not scared, but like annoyed that everything was just like, for the bathroom. There's two toilet bowl cleaners a thing of bleach, shower cleaner, lime away, heavy degreaser, and then granite cleaner, and then like another thing of like bleach. Finally located your go-to disinfecting surface cleaner. Ooh, because I did not want to have to leave here to pick some up and then miss the delivery. Also, I was holding the camera really weird, so you got my little chin. Okay, okay, focus. I need a stool to like reach the shelves. I know there's a stool somewhere here, so let's try to find a stool. Oh, okay, that was super easy. <laughs> it was the first thing I saw. Okay.
Not sure if you can tell on the camera, but yeah, there's like sawdusty stuff on this, so. Very clearly this is not going to be how it stays. I'm just putting things in cupboards as a, like a check mark, this is clean. And Justin can organize this because I am at a loss as per usual when it comes to dish organization. So there we go. And I was able to load the dishwasher for the next round. So I'm just going to turn the extra dry on. Some of these dishes in here were not totally dry, even though they were sitting overnight. See, none of these settings have this lit up, so I don't know. I made tons of progress with the dishes. I cleaned off our U.S. dish drying rack thing. We have a new, much better one, but it's at the temp place in use. So, clean that off to have another drying space, because this comes kind of built in with a drying space. It's not great because it isn't like angle enough to dry, but it's okay for now. And I will just like, hand dry the inside or whatever. So I've got a lot of stuff drying. I've got the dishwasher running. So now I can move on to other stuff in this place that needs to be taken care of. The next thing I want to tackle or start to tackle, not finish tackling today, is laundry. I'm going to try to focus on this room first. It's the smaller room. But it also is the one that has more built-in storage for clothes. So I'm going to try to do whatever clothes are on the bed here. And then also start reorganizing what's in what bedroom as well today, maybe. And so what I'm going to do is clear out the hamper of non-clothing items. Oh my god, these shoes. Yes. Come on, one hand, one hand. Yes. I don't know where to put it. Dang it. I think the rest. The rest is a mix of clothes and what is this? Curtains? Curtains, okay. A brief pause in what I was doing because, ta-da! Dyson delivery. Postnord delivered it just now, right when the time starts for the IKEA delivery. So I am just trapped here forever. I was hoping they would deliver it earlier so I could get a break and go back to the temp place, but no such luck for me today. However, Justin is actually on his way um, with food. Yay! So I'm not starving today, unlike yesterday. I'm not gonna open this yet because one thing at a time, right? Like there's stuff everywhere. Justin's here. Hello. With McDonald's. Yay. <laughs> and is this burger you said was cheddar Dijon? Yeah, but then there's also bacon on it, I guess. Ooh. I don't know. I swear I turned it on before because I made sure there was power to it during like my little inspection. Oh, it's just, you just turn it to whatever setting you want and it turns on. Oh. Huh. So what setting do we want? I don't know, sensitive? Sensitive? Because I'm sensitive? Two hours, 31 minutes. Jesus, okay, no, not that one. I just love that our, our washer is in Swedish and our dryer is in English. <laughs> yeah, they're bisexual. Uh -huh. Get into it. You didn't catch that? I said bisexual. Instead of bilingual. <laughs> I just went with it. Yay, water. First load of laundry done. Yay. Uh, a lot of it could not be dried. But what could be dried, I tried. We did, um, what did we do? Delicates. There's no temperature for any of this. So we tried delicates out for this. Oh, this. So we did the Fint Fat. 
it was for 41 minutes. When we took it out, the clothes were really, really wet still, like sopping wet, like making the floor wet, kind of wet. So I did a centrifuging, which definitely got all of the water out because afterwards the clothes were almost dry, basically. Which makes me wonder about the delicates because they still were not too dry there. But for this one here, which is a second load, Justin said we should just try the mix because that one's an hour on cold because it's the highest speed, the 1200 RPM or whatever this measurement is. So we'll see how that one goes for this load. Since our one and only drying rack is already full, everything in here is dryerable, like in the dryer. So that will work out nicely, which means that everything that's still in here cannot be dryer. So that's gonna take some days. There's no water. There's no water in this. What is with me? And issues with water. Stop that. Okay, okay. I wish we had the manual for this. But there is water. There is water. There's just not a lot of water. What is going on? Okay, water is being added now. And I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> Status update. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I th okay, so for, for this laundry stuff, I feel like one of the issues is the loads are probably too full. So maybe it's kind of not rinsing as well as it should be. The bottom line though is that I need to find the manual online, but we don't have internet set up at this place yet. So I will have to do that at our temp house tonight. But I am trying out this speed wash setting because I realized none of this stuff should be super dirty, just like dusty. So a soapy rinse should be enough. So I'm gonna see how this goes. The previous run, I had this extra dry thing on I don't know. To me, it just felt like a normal dry cycle where I opened it up and everything was still wet but hot, so it steamed away. Um, I think I will just kind of leave this open overnight and kind of mess with it more tomorrow. The IKEA delivery came in though, so that's great. Check mark on that. Outside, <laughs> it's like five o'clock. It looks pitch black. I don't know, I guess maybe that's just Scandinavia in the mid to late autumn. It's now too dark to really do a lot of organizing, which is fun. Okay, I'm calling it for today. I figured the dryer out enough to do an anti-crease. That way, worst comes to worst, the clothes are not totally, totally dry. They'll be jostled around and not stagnant and hopefully getting air and air drying. I don't know. The washer stumps me. I'm gonna go back to our temp place where we have Wi-Fi and look up the manual, figure that out. I've got things here drying in the kitchen that should be totally good to put away tomorrow. So yeah, tonight it's a wrap. Tomorrow, hopefully I'll have the solution and I'll report it to you guys because I know I just know every single one of you is at the edge of your seats. Just can't wait to see how this all ends with the washer. This must be the most riveting content on YouTube. But yeah, I'm gonna go home, play some Animal Crossing, design some virtual homes that are not frustrating like this real home is with its appliances and all the dirty things to clean. And also just FYI, I'm not gonna vlog every single thing that I do from here on out in terms of cleaning. I wanted to vlog all the kinds of things that we're doing, so I'm not gonna be like, okay, now for clip number 20 of load number 20. No. 
I'm just blabbering on at this point, rambling, so cut. The next day. Hi everyone, uh, ignore that I'm wearing largely the same stuff from yesterday. We have to do laundry at our temp place, independent of all this laundry and stuff. Anyway, I am now a uh, SME on this washer, uh, subject matter expert, not to brag. So the issue was not that I was overfilling the washer. The issue was I was overfilling the washer for the setting I was choosing. We can't do the delicates because load size is like three kilograms max. It handles up to seven kilograms, which is like a totally full barrel, but only with the regular settings. So let me show you what I did this morning that worked pretty good. Okay, I have a load here ready to go. So I'm gonna do it to the regular like white or color wash, but I'm going to do speed perfect, which lowers this it down to like about an hour. This is an estimate because, oop, nope, oh God. This is an estimate because really the load took about an hour, 20 minutes. So I'm not sure what affects that, maybe how full it is. I'm leaving it at the top centrifuge speed because the clothes were basically dry, which was great. And I'm gonna do it to the cold setting because we wash everything in cold because it is much better for the materials of the clothing. And that's it. And yeah, when I walked in this morning, these clothes were in the dryer and they were totally 100% dry. So that's good. Did not want to come into like mildewy smelling clothes in a dryer. Also for the washer, does anyone agree with me that an hour is still kind of long for a wash cycle? I don't really get it. I'm used to wash cycles that are like a half hour, 40 minutes maybe. I don't know, maybe it's having a longer wash to use less water or energy or something, I don't know, but literally the shortest I could get it while still washing a big load was what I did, which was an hour with the speed perfect thing that speeds it up, which per the manual reduces the speed with a comparable wash quality. So I'm just like, why would you not always have that on? Why would you want it to take three times as long for no reason? I don't know. So that's gonna be it for this vlog. I'm gonna end it because all I'm gonna do from here on out today is more laundry, more dishes. Um, let's see, this vlog had dishes, messes everywhere, Animal Crossing references, confusion, laundry. Wishing I lived in Animal Crossing and not in this apartment right now. McDonald's, all that and more next time. But until then, thank you for watching, bye.